One blogger wants Mayor Martin Chavez to fess up. Jessica's in the dot com center with more. Well, we start with democracy for New Mexico dot com. It says now that Albuquerque Mayor Marty Chavez has gotten his name on the ballot, qualified for public funding and pocketed three hundred and twenty eight thousand in campaign money. Isn't it time for him to fess up and admit he's officially running for the fourth term at the helm of the city? The public funding is supposed to pay for his campaign, including ads. But instead, the mayor is apparently content to let public service TV ads featuring his smiling face be the vehicle for his campaign PR, at least for now. R.J. Berry and Democrat Richard Romero, both of whom have officially declared their candidacies and are in the midst of campaigning, have called Marty out on his use of city-funded TV ads. Is it ethical or fair to sit on hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars specifically designated for the campaign and depend instead on city budget money to call attention to yourself in this way? Blogger and former Albuquerque Mayor Jim Baca says, So Marty Chavez is cheating by using his face on city advertising. What else is new? His name is on every city vehicle, too. And he is using taxpayer-salaried folks in his office to respond to campaign issues like this. If Richard Romero and the Republican in the race want to effectively campaign, they need to stick to big-picture items rather than work the mayor over on his cheating. Uh, I mean strategy. People just really do not care about the stuff. Right now, they care about the economy and their future. Road rage, potholes, rocketing gas prices, crowded, unsafe streets, noxious fumes. Who loves their commute? Not many Americans, according to this website, mycommutesucks.org. Americans can finally turn their frustration and rage into real action by telling their members of Congress, my commute sucks and it's not getting any better. The upcoming transportation bill set to be debated in Congress in the coming weeks will spend billions of dollars in federal transportation funds over the next six years. Fed up commuters can go to the site to share their awful commute stories, send pictures, and tell Congress why and how they need to fix their slow, crowded, congested commutes. All right, you think you can blog? Email me, tell me about your website, Michael. Thanks, Jess.